Hello YouTubers, this is Shem. In this video I'll test some of the most demanding gaming titles from the Play Store and comment on their performance on OnePlus One smartphone. At the end of the video I will also give a little bit of general feedback from gaming on the device. Before I start I just want to mention that thanks to the 64GB of storage of my unit I was able to install almost all of the titles that I've purchased over the years and still have over 30GB of memory left. This is something rarely seen on Android flagships and there were only a handful of others in the past. The first game on my list is the ever so popular Colin McRae Rally, which is a racing game that was ported from PC. During gameplay I didn't notice any lags or frame drops and as you would expect from a device with Snapdragon 801 it ran no problem. Next on my list is one of the newer third person shooters available for Android called Duzak's The Fall. Here OnePlus One once again did a great job and no lags were noticeable. The screen responsiveness which is crucial for this genre was also really good. The next title that I've tested was called Flesh Out 3D. This is a spaceship racing game with nice graphics. I set the graphics quality settings high and my OnePlus One didn't disappoint this time either. It offered smooth gameplay and superior performance. Now let's have a look at a game called Horn from Phosphor Games Studio, which was built on Unreal Engine and used to be a Tegra 3 chipset exclusive. Here we take control of a character in mystical world and need to solve puzzles and fight various enemies. The game showed some frame drops, which was probably due to lack of optimization for the Snapdragon chipset and I've experienced similar on other non-Tegra devices as well. Leo's Fortune is a new platformer game that has recently topped all Android gaming charts. It offers polished graphics and beautiful visuals. There were no issues whatsoever on OnePlus One. The next on my list is the brand new Modern Combat 5. This is the fifth game in the most popular military FPS series on Android. The graphics settings were automatically set to optimal, which is the highest available. During gameplay everything runs smooth like butter and OnePlus performed great. Now let's take a look at another car racing game called Need for Speed Most Wanted. This one is packed with action and is all about neutral boosts, drifting and hitting the jumps. As you would expect, here the phone had no problems either. Next I want to show you a game called Assassin's Creed Pirates. Here you are the captain of a pirate ship and you have to conquer the sea. This is one of the most graphically intense games in the Play Store and as you can see on my short gameplay one plus one run it without any problems. Let me just show you a couple more games. First is the jet ski racing game called Riptide GP2. I set the resolution to the highest available and did the same in the advanced options with scene complexity and shader complexity. Unfortunately I'm not going to surprise you here either as the OnePlus One run the game no problem. The last title that I'll show you today is Real Racing 3. This is yet another car racing game but this time it concentrates on providing the most accurate representation of real world and the graphics is extremely demanding as well. What's interesting is the fact that it lets you change camera modes and the visuals are stunning. Unfortunately although the game was playable there were noticeable frame drops. I think that the problem lies on the developer's side but don't take my word for it. All in all, OnePlus One proved to be a perfect companion for gaming thanks to its big screen and good performance. Two things I have to mention are the speakers located on the bottom which are not ideal and very often you'll find yourself muffling the sound and the temperature especially on the right side of the camera which increased significantly after a few minutes of playing. I hope that you've enjoyed my video. If you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.